Hello everyone, this is Suikyun. And should you play a little DSiWare game called Ancient Tribe? And personally, I'd say yes. For it being just a little DSiWare game, it's actually pretty good. It's not very compli you know, complicated or anything, it's pretty simple. And basically, it's kind of like Pikmin. Where you have these, you know, little guys that you need to direct. And the goal is to basically get you know, materials and food for your tribe. And so, as you can see on the top there, I have no food. I've got some stone. You know, so I just killed that buffalo thing. So I got some food from that. So you want to have, to at least meet the goal that's listed on the screen. So I need to get 500 pounds of food to feed the tribe. And I want to get as much stone and wood as possible so that I can build stuff and hire more people, or at least better people, you know, make upgrades and things. And, you know, I'm, my characters are for a high, high, they're a high level for this level. This is the first level. So they're not going to die in this level. But if they die, then they're dead. You have to make new people and they start from level one if they die. So you gotta be kind of careful when you first start out, because you can pretty easily die. You know, how I have three buffalo on me at one time. You know, that's pretty easy to have happen. And I'm using the uh, little joystick to move the camera so I can see what's going on. And then I tapped on the buffalo and they all ran over there. They can get stuck pretty easily on rocks and stuff. So you have to kind of watch it. And, as you can see, there's kind of like a flower that's actually a sun. And if you if you have any of your guys still out at nighttime, then they will die. It's like they get lost or something, and you never see them again. And this is the boss. When you first start this game, you do not want to mess with this guy. He will whoop your butt. But because I'm fairly high level right now, this guy is not going to hurt me at all, really. He's going to stun me and things, but that's about all he can really do. He's not going to really do too much. So I'm going to wait for these guys. Like, you can see that guy freaking out over there. He's not doing anything. He actually did hurt my guys. Oh, no. Well, it's because one guy's not doing anything. It's not helping. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. So now I've got at least the 500 that was required. So I should be okay. Did I lose my guys? Here we go. Yeah, it can be kind of hard to control these guys sometimes. Otherwise, it's pretty entertaining. So, let's see if I can go back. Can I go home now? I want to go home. Here we go. Let's go home. Okay. You see, it's day 20. I got 500 of 500 people. Cool. I can here's my army right now I don't have a I don't have something to get a fifth person I don't really remember why but I can research into having you know axes and things I don't remember if I have that already what do I have I think I do have that already back to the menu this is how I get more people, and more people means I have to collect more meat every day. Otherwise, I think I lose population. I can get some powers. Like, lure the nearest beast and stun it for six seconds. I don't know, I never really used these. Like, when I used one, I don't really think it did a whole lot. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically this game in a nutshell. It's very simple, but I do like it. I think it's worth at least, you know, giving it a shot. It didn't cost that much. And as you can see, you know, the map's pretty big. There's a place I haven't really been to yet. And it does get hard, you know. Even as you get more people, you know, the maps get much, much harder. So just because I have a decent amount of people doesn't mean I can't die. Can I even go here? No. I'm trying to remember where the last place I was. That's still level 1.
I'm trying to see if there's like a level two place. There's dark wood. Let's try going here. Let's see what happens if I go here. <laughs> see how quickly I die. You can see just the resources. Like there's two wood right there, which is probably why I have so many of it. Or so much of it, I mean. Here's a boss. Let's go fight the boss. See if the boss will kill me. Come here, boss. Oh, there's a couple of them. That's probably not good. And of course, one dude's getting stuck again. You really want him to surround the monster if you can, but the AI sometimes. <laughs> They'll just kind of do whatever they want if you let them. Come on, attack this guy. Stupid. Yeah, as you see, this guy's not going down as easy as the last one. Oh, that guy died. Oh no! And yeah, I'm basically letting my guys die on purpose just so I can show you. I don't remember what happens when all my guys die. Come on. Attack this guy. Stop being wussies. Go and attack him. <laughs> Fight to the death. I command it. Come on. Stop getting distracted by your simple caveman brains. Yay, level up, then someone died. <laughs> so now I've got two people left. That's probably not good. Eh, let's kill him off just because. Let's see what happens. I don't remember what happens. I'm sure it won't take too long for him to die. Do glitched or something? Why are you not dying? There we go. You're sturdier than I thought you were. You are slowly dying now. And my guys are strong. Alright, so now they're all dead. So let's see what happens. Result. Everybody died. Had some meat though. So, since all my people are dead, let's go make some new people. Recruit this guy. Yep. Recruit. So now I have a whole bunch of new people. So if I want to, I can go back to the level 1 area. And just level these guys up again if I want to. It sounds really boring, and I'm sure after a while it will get boring, but if you're just, like, bored for a second, and just need something really quick to do, it's just good for that. 